um, just a small thing about about signatures. So so as we have Algamal encryption, we also have Algamal signatures, and these are the signatures that are are used by by Ethereum and by by Bitcoin. So um, this is just very very briefly. Suppose that P is a prime number. Uh, this slide is old because thousand to twenty four uh, is on the short side now. Um, let alpha be a generator. Um, and I made a change of notation. It used to be G, but now I'm going to call it alpha. A is the secret signing key. Beta is alpha to the power A. That used to be H. And so P, alpha, and beta, they, they are public. This is, this is the, you can think of this as the public key, and you can think of the lowercase a as the private key. And then the signature on, on a message, that's x be the message in this context, um, or it can be the hash. I'm going to talk about that uh, uh, in a couple of minutes. Um, so we, we want a signature on x, where x is an element also modulo p. Then k is going to be chosen random number. We're going to compute gamma, which is defined as alpha to the power k modulo p. And we're going to compute delta, which is this equation here. It's like um, x minus a gamma multiplied by the inverse, the multi the inverse of, of k modulo p minus 1. So, so you must take care. This is modulo p minus 1. Um, and so the signature on x will be the, the pair gamma and delta. So what does the verifier, the person who receives the, the signature, what does it need to do? Well, it will compute beta to the power gamma times gamma to the power delta and checks whether this is equal to alpha to the power x. And so why does this work? Well, if you, if you check out the definition, then you see that um, beta sh by definition should be alpha to the power a. Remember, a is like the, the private key. Uh, by definition, so this is times gamma using this equation. And um, well, the, the math turns out beautifully. So this is a simple, simple check you can do by yourself. This, um, the previous signature scheme has been standardized, which is called the Digital Signature Algorithm. Um, the DSA, the original DSA, made an improvement on, on, on the Algamal scheme, which was shorter, it leads to shorter signatures. However, the elliptic curve version of uh, the digital signature algorithm doesn't have this. So essentially, the elliptic curve digital signature algorithm is exactly what we see here on, on the previous slide. Um, now, for elliptic curves, you must be aware that, um, so unlike the case of RSA, where everybody chooses its own, its own uh, parameters, um, on elliptic curves, these uh, the parameters are standardized. Um, so in 1999, NIST recommended 15 elliptic curves. Um, there are prime fields for the primes of size, which of size is 192, 224, 256, 384, 521 bits. Um, and for each uh, of these sizes, one elliptic curve is recommended. We also have binary fields. So, um, this is something, it's a technicality, um, but in the context of, of blockchains, we are mostly focusing on prime feeds. So I'm going to skip this. There exist other standards, which uh, such as standards by uh, Certicom, However, you should be aware that some of these products uh, are patented. Um, ten years ago, Snowden showed that um, one specific um, standard at NIST had been compromised. And 
this is this led to some suspicion about the definition of the elliptic curve standards so this is now why do why we do have some alternative elliptic curve standards such as um, the curve 25519 which stands for 2 to the power 255 minus 19 which is a prime number um, and this curve has been adapted by Signal and, and WhatsApp for the Whisper protocol because it was felt that um, this curve wasn't being tampered with by, by the United States government. Um, one specific remark, I'm not mentioning here the, the BN curves, which are specific for parents. This will, I will discuss this at a later stage. So um, in, the, in Bitcoin uses the following standards. It uses the elliptic curve digital section algorithm with this specific standard, which I mentioned on the previous slide. And it uses the SHA-256 um, hashing algorithm. It also uses hash functions to compute the, the private key as a Bitcoin address. Ethereum for its signatures uses elliptic curve digital signature algorithm, the same curve but a different hashing algorithm. 